guys, so first off, um, I'm going to start with an apology. Um, I have been at work for the past five weeks and haven't really had any time to sit down and film. Um, the one time I did sit down to film, my camera was completely out of focus for the entire 15 minutes and I didn't seem to notice and just plowed on regardless. Um, so yeah, sorry, I did like 18 hour days with about maybe a half hour lunch break in the middle and so by the time I got around to being able to sit down and film I was just too tired to film um, sorry but I'm back now um, and more than ready to go so I'm gonna kind of catch you guys up with a little bit of the shopping that I'd done while I was away I didn't really have a lot of time to shop so I'm kind of surprised that I managed to find time to buy anything at all um, so yeah here we go um, I am going to start with TK Maxx because I feel they need the least explaining um, I picked up six things in TK Maxx um, and the first three things that I picked up were Three of the Buxom lip glosses. Um, ooh, hello, I picked up Dolly, Brandy, and Bunny. Um, I know that Buxom is a pretty trusted brand, so I felt kind of safe buying them. Um, yeah, I haven't really used them a lot yet, but they're only like three days old or something, so I'm really looking forward to that. Car. I don't normally go for lip gloss, so. <laughs> like an experiment. The other thing I picked up was from a brand called Lacquer, you can even see that, Lacquer and Co. Um, now these are, well I dropped them all over the floor, these are like nail polish pens, so instead of having to dip your brush in a pot to get your nail polish out what you do is you like squeeze the end and you know how you get like those concealer things it's the same thing but nail polish um apparently you're supposed to do this like on the go but I haven't quite, quite got around to that yet my camera's about to die um so yeah and the packaging is beautiful and to die for this one's got like a bunny rabbit and a fox in some tulips. So in essence, they're kind of stunning. Um, I picked up three. I got mine in birthday suit, which is like a nude, plonk and greedy guts, which I like. A nude, a brown, and a red. Um, and I'm kind of really excited for these. So that was the extent of my shopping in TK Maxx. Uh, three lip glosses, three lip pens, no, three lip pens, three polish pens. Um, after that I went into Boots and I picked up the ever present on YouTube Tangle Teaser. Um, I've heard some rave reviews about this so I was like, I need to get myself one and see if they're worth all the hype. And they really are. Um, I threw my regular hairbrush in the bin after like my first use of this I was like I don't want to see my regular hairbrush again just I was like literally poof, in the bin it made a wonderful kind of clay sound but these are really worth the hype um, my hair has never been so like well brushed and well combed in its entire life thank you Tangle Tees I also picked up a new lip balm because I was like, kind of, my lips were kind of drying out, crazy stuff. So this is the Neutrogena, Neutrogena, not at all, Norwegian Formula SPF 20. No, yeah, Neutrogena, Norwegian Formula SPF 20 lip balm. It's a lip balm, it does the trick. And then I also picked up two of the Maybelline lipsticks now. They were having a like two for ten pound thing so I picked up two of course I did I picked up 
547 which is pleasure me red and 725 tantalizing taupe so i picked up like a red and a nude um because i can never have enough reds and i really need to get into nudes so i thought why not now is the time then i went into wilkinson's which is like a shop not known for its makeup um, because I needed to pick up some actual techie stuff and I discovered their like brush counter their like home brand brush counter but this is like one of the softest brushes like it's possibly even softer than the new Real Techniques brush that I've just bought um, so soft and it's only going to get softer but this is the powder brush by Wilkinson's it's probably not as fluffy as I or as big domed as I would normally like but it did only cost me four pounds then I went to Lush um, now this is actually my first ever Lush purchase um, I don't normally go in for Lush, it's just the smell's always been quite a bit intimidating. Um, I have a really sensitive nose for smells, and so when you walk in and you're like, uh, I can smell six million things, you're like, I don't really want to be there anymore. But this time I persevered and I picked up the Honey Bee Bath Ballistic, which just looks like this. And it's already shedding all, all over my bedroom floor which I'm kind of okay with. Oh, cocaine nose is back. It just smells like honey and exciting things. <laughs> that is the only issue with smelling bath bombs, is you look like you're addicted to coke. Um, I wonder if I was gonna use that while I was at summer camp, but I never, managed to find a free half hour in the evening to have a bath so you know wild times for me sometime soon having a bath with a bath bomb and the last shop I went to and spent a minor fortune at was Superdrug um, I picked up three of the Real Technique brushes I picked up their sculpting brush because I'd heard nothing but good things about it. Um, their Kabuki brush, retractable Kabuki brush, which I'm just gonna put in my um, handbag when I actually start wearing makeup again properly. And I picked up, I got for free, the concealer brush. Now this is very similar to another concealer brush that I have, but I thought I would give the Real Techniques one a go. It's not the kind of style of concealer blending brush I normally get. I normally go for one that's quite big and fluffy. But, you know, you can never have too many Real Techniques brushes. And I'm probably at about 20 easily. I'm really excited for this one. I love retractable kabukis. I then went to Makeup Revolution London. Now they have a massive counter in Cheltenham and I don't think I've seen them here in Cambridge. And so I picked up their uh, Vivid Braked Baked Bronzer in Ready To Go. And this is what it looks like. It's a very kind of light gold, kind of quite luminous would look good as a bronze topper kind of highlight especially if I get out in the sun a bit more and from the same brand I picked up their ultra face face primer just I'm on a bit of a primer binge at the moment so I'm just gonna give this a go and see if it's any good um, and the last thing I picked up, the very last thing, was I picked up two more of the Maybelline Fit Me concealers. Um, 
So Boots was having one Maybelline deal, which was two lipsticks for £10. And these guys, Superdrug, was having a buy one get one half price sale. So I picked up two of the 15 because last time I tried to buy Maybelline Fit Me, I bought the 10 thinking 10 would be the lighter shade, but I've been dutifully informed by quite a few of you that 15 is the lighter shade. <laughs> Try that. Um, so there we are. That is the end of my shopping. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye.